Yeah, bitch, yeah, bitch, call me Steve O. Oh. Oh. I'm a wild boy, fuck, I ain't I need O. Oh. Hey, what's going on, you guys? Avenger Vass here. Um, kind of sick today, um, but today I'm doing a review of the Marvel Legends Scarlet Witch. This is a review request by um, Omar Kahali. I hope I'm saying that right. I apologize if I'm not. Um, really cool kid. Um, he's on the the um, ACBA Facebook page. Um, posted some pretty decent shots. Um, you guys should check him out. Um, really cool kid. But he asked me to do, um, do a review of the Scarlet Witch I have. So I um, believe it or not, I actually have three of these figures. Um, one is obviously right here. One is in my Avengers display. This one is for my uh, Brotherhood. And I also have another one, but it's meant on package. Let me get it in here. Pause. So here's the packaging. Me. This is my tripod, my wallet, and Thor base. So it says Marvel Legends. I picked this up for 13 bucks. Has a nice trading card, comic book, good old toy biz days. Has this really, really weird like scooter thing. I don't know what kind of thing that is. But yeah, it has a lot of dust on the top. So I have this on my wall of um, <coughs> package figures. But. Yeah, I have a few of those package figures. But on to the figure. Um, pretty cool. Not the best Marvel Legend, but very nice. Um, the head sculpt, you can see right here. I don't know if you guys can see on camera, but she has freckles, which is cool, but Scarlet Witch never had freckles in the comics, but it's cool. Has really nice lips, nice eyes. Um, the hair, I mean, not the hair, her tiara came out really nice. It has like this wash, like it's been like dented and everything, which um, I'm not a big fan of because, like in the comics, it was all shiny and everything, but it's cool. I'm not complaining, but there's her hair. I actually like her with long, with long hair. This is like a classic Scarlet Witch, but she has a pink right here. It has like a magenta in it. Very nice. Um, the red has shading in various parts right here and right here. More of that magenta color. And her boots. So, oh, and the cape. It has like shading. So... Very nice. Let me get in a better position. Um, I have three gripes. I, I think I have three gripes. Um, oh yeah, one her cape. I wish it was longer. Um, again, this is a classic look, but I know it wasn't that long. But if it was like about to here, it would be a little better. And um, there's another problem. I think that was the only problem, yeah. That was the only problem, that her cape wasn't long enough. But um, the articulation, the head looks up a fairly decent amount. Moves down, side to side. Moves back and forth, up and down. Bicep swivel. Uh, double jointed elbows, it's really stiff. Um, glove swivel, mid, mid glove swivel. The hand moves up and down, and finger clamping action. Felt kind of loose right here. One on the top, you can see that the join isn't painted, but um, that doesn't really bother me. She has like a diaphragm joint. I don't know what you would call this, like a a brush joint. I don't know. Oh, now I remember my second gripe. This is kind of funny. Um, this is gonna sound really funny. I don't think her breasts are like properly made. They're like pancakes <laughs> pancake breasts but they could have been done better 
It's a, I'm talking and getting way off topic, but she has a swivel at the breast, um, ab crunch, very nice, moves back a lot. It can actually go farther than that. And not just that, her waist can actually extend more so she can bend back all the way, bend forward all the way. And she has a waist swivel that goes forward and back. Not, not really forward, but oh, it's like a wide swivel. But it, you can't really get it into like a sitting down pose or like a kicking pose, like to this way. But you can get, get her kicking out that way. So it moves out like that. No thigh swivel. Double joint and knees. Um, calf swivel. Foot goes back and forth. And a nice ankle pivot. And pickles at the bottom of the feet. So, very nice figure. Um, I really, really wish this figure gets redone. Um, this actually might get redone in the new Avengers movie because she's going to be in the new Avengers movie that they just haven't decided who's going to be the official actor for the Scarlet Witch. Which, um, heh, no pun intended. Um, but Scarlet Witch is a very nice Avengers character. Um, getting the size comparison to the Hasbro Black Widow. You can see she's taller than her. Obviously has nice breasts. So um, I would not like Hasbro to re remake this figure using this mold. Probably using the um, new Moonstone mold that was just recently made. That would be really nice. Um, or instead of Toy Biz back in the day use this mold instead. That would have been really nice. But um, yeah. And um, I forgot where I put this figure. Oh, here he is. Here she is next to her brother. Come on. And um, her tiara makes her head look big, but it's not that big. But yeah. Um, so that's my review, you guys. Um, I really hope this figure gets remade. But, um, yeah. Alright, this is Avenger Vass here, and I'll catch you later. Peace.